Hello everyone, this is Wilson and welcome. Today I will show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab E. Bear in mind that rooting your device will void your warranty. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. There are a lot of contents here and every Monday and Wednesday you will get new videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. There are three things I do when I get a new device. One is update the system with the latest official update available. Two is root the device. And three is backup the entire system. To follow up with this tutorial, make sure you have proper drive installed in your PC. If you don't, install it. For Samsung device, you can install it by installing Keys. Keys is an official application from Samsung that allows you to backup and restore data from your Samsung device and do much more. Once you have installed it, download Odin. Then download the Super SU. Choose the right one based on your phone model. If you don't know which model you have, go to the settings, scroll down to about the phone and you will see here build number. Mine is SMT561. Yours might be the same or different. Download the TWRP Recover. All the links for these files we will find it in the description section. After you've done that, copy the Super SU to your micro SD and insert it into your phone. As you can see, I have downloaded the files and put it in separate folder. I like to keep the way it is because it's more it's well organized for me. Choose the best way for you, but the only thing that matters is that you remember where you save the files. Now let's switch to the phone. Go to the settings, about the phone, and under the build number, tap it seven times to enable develop options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Under the develop options, select USB debugging and select allow. The next thing to do is put the phone into download mode. Turn off the device. Press home, volume down, power button at the same time. And next, press volume up to continue. Now, the device is in download mode. Extract the Odin application and open it. Once you have done that, at the Odin, you will get this blue bar and add it at the lock box. The next step is to import the WRP to install. Go to the AP and find the TWRP file and then click open. Once you have done that, click on start. Then you will see a blue progress bar in your device. At the Odin, I got this green color and pass, and my device should automatically reboot. But still, that I'm stuck in here. Don't panic, it happens. What we are going to do now is reboot it manually. To do so, press home, volume down 
and power button at the same time. Once you see this screen, press volume down to restart it. Now that we have done it, boot the phone into recovery mode. Shut down the phone, press home, volume up and power button at the same time. Once you see the Samsung logo, release it. There you go, as you can see, we have successfully installed the TWRP recovery. The next step now is install the Super SU that we copied to the micro SD. Swipe it to allow modification. Since the app is in my external SD, select storage, micro SD, and OK. Find the app. Click on it and swipe to confirm flash. This process can take quite some time, so I will fast forward it. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. New contents on Monday and Wednesday. Once it says done, press on reboot system. So now I'm going to see if there is the Super SU app installed on the phone and um, as you can see there it is. To see if the phone is rooted I'm going to use the root checker. This is an application that you can download it from Play Store. So go ahead and download it. Open the app and click verify root. Grant the super user access and as you can see, root access is properly installed in the device. There you go guys, we have rooted the Galaxy Tab E. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.